Hello, I'm Richard Stewart from Advanced Carp Fishing Magazine and this is Jim Shelley, one of the country's best carp anglers and he's also Vision Senior Carp Consultant. Hello. Jim, we're going to talk about a few carp care products now, um, starting with the uh, Kenick Way Sling, which you've got there. It's quite a compact sling, Yeah, it's compact, sling, isn't it? lightweight, easy to construct. So you just pop those arms together, lightweight aluminium. What's the significance of the um, of the, the mesh, Jim? Oh, to let the water out. Um, top part, I would have said more, so it's like more lightweight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got it zipped as well, like so. Nice big chunky zips. Yeah. And safety is key with these things, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you've got. And like when you're gonna uh, say when you you finish weighing the, the fish, yeah. yeah easy to put back as well when you okay. put it back in yeah 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 i didn't even have to undo that myself so you can just you can just literally yeah. zip it using the arms awesome right let's put that to one side that's the kenick we've got quite a clever product in the edge there jim haven't we yeah yeah that's this is the cash kim wasteling so do you want to just talk us through what what that's all about well i would say more this is more like the ultimate in sacking really yeah. you're not going to like lose a fish in this mm. because it floats um same thing again lightweight water drains out of it really yeah. easily and now the, the floats are something that, that's very close to your heart isn't it because after a couple of uh sort of tragedies on waters that you fished you started using yeah. a, a sack float yourself didn't yeah, you yeah yeah definitely i mean it all come together when I found a 35 pound mirror carp dead yeah. in the sack. Um, and this will eliminate that, won't it? Yes. Yeah. I mean, even if you lose it out in the pond, it's floating. Yeah. So, so, so while we're on the subject of, uh, of floats, Jim, talk a little bit about net floats. Um, basically, these uh, go on the end of your, your landing net part. Yeah. So when you've got the, the net like resting in the in the, in the pond mm. sort of thing. It ain't going to slide away. Well, we've got one here, haven't we? We can show. Yeah. Um, let me just get hold of this. And you can show everyone just exactly what how this works. So there's your net. If I pull it well out, you can see then, look. Sunk. So when, when you're playing a fish out and about there, yeah. Yeah. your net's not dri dropping to the bottom because no. when it comes in close, you want to net that fish finally. You're dragging it up and it's heavy as, heavy yeah. as you like, yeah. isn't it? Yes. So, I mean, everything. you could even put two of those on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But one's, I'm sure one, one, yes. does, one does the job. Oh, so. yes, definitely. Okay, Jim, we're going to talk about mats, which is another subject that's, that's close to your heart, I know, because you've used this kind of mat a lot over the years, haven't you? Yes. Um, it's got raised sides, so basically when you've got the fish in there, it can't get out. Yep. Um, it's a must. It's got a nice padded... Um, Removable padded section. Yeah, definitely. Which yep. is like cushions of fish on the ground, so yep. if you are really hard ground, Loads of blooming um, pad in there. Yeah. I mean, I even use these for stalking. Just put like a bit of floater kit in there, mm. stuff like that over your shoulder, and away you go. Awesome. So, you know, every angler should should really take a lot of a lot of notice of what Jim's got to say about carp care because he really is one of the guys that that truly does care. You know, and and, and these products a testament to that. So, take a look at them.